ever since I started sailing, I remember how everyone was fascinated by the skippers who crossed the Southern Ocean and rounded Cape Horn. It never even crossed my mind to try such a feat. But then, one day, I met her. She had already rounded the Horn and circumnavigated the boat. She was abandoned. I decided to rescue her. It took me two years before we could sail for the first time. I started to dream about Cape Horn. Not just about Horn. I wanted to cross the Southern Ocean. The first time it crossed my mind to navigate the globe in the proper way. Around three great capes giving up was not an option. I just needed a reason why I was doing it. Every expedition needs a goal. A beer at the end of the world in Yacht Club Mikalvi, just 40 miles from Horn, was mine. It took another two years before I could start. The Atlantic was hard on us. Forced it rock. We had to cross the ocean twice to get to Cape Town. Since then, we were taking it slow. It took us 85 days to stop sailing to cross the Indian Ocean. The fourth day, we came to bus straight. I was desperate, but I refused to give up. We sailed on. We made it across the Southern Ocean, from New Zealand to Cape Horn in 66 days. And I had a beer in the colony. But it was far from over. We had to sail halfway around the world to come home. The Corona pandemic was in full Spain. We came too far. We had to keep on. We sailed 39,000 miles in 28 miles. It was probably the most expensive year in history. People ask me why I didn't go through Panama Canal like normal people. Why I sailed the wrong way down the world. This was my first. There is no right or wrong way to sail around the world. I did it my way. My way around the world.